All right. Welcome back. And we can see that over here, oh, it's night time, evening. Hade's Tower of Flame. Right there, we have a bastard, a Hade Knight. You can see he's got arrows sticking out of his head. He's actually going to come alive later. Um, that giant thing, the old knights, they do come alive. They will attack you, so race down. Light the bonfire. If you've lit a bonfire but then get killed, you come back to that bonfire. One, two, three. And then we should get some hits in. One, two, three. And then we should get some hits in. All right. Sometimes they drop fun things. This guy, of course, didn't bother. Because, you know, not very nice. Um, now we're going to race up here. There's a few more of these dudes that we want to take care of. He's dropped down from there. That noise, that whoosh noise, that tells us that we can summon a phantom. Let's summon this guy in to show you what it means. So we can become a phantom later on and we can summon a phantom. When, and I like to summon a phantom as often as I can. Jolly cooperation is great fun in this game and getting as many people involved in your game as possible is a good thing. It makes the bosses a little harder uh, to cope for the fact that you've got extra people, but it's lots of fun having people in there, especially people you don't know. So hello, Eray Can. Unless he's waiting for a friend, he's waiting for a friend. All right, so sometimes what happens is um, people put a phantom sign down in certain areas just so they can agree to meet their mates, and he's obviously done that. He doesn't want to meet me, he's just wanting to meet his mates. Okay. This one's a bastard. Seemingly endless... Man. Let's get out of here. We need to heal up a bit. There. Alright. Um, the old knights with their giant hammers are a little bit broken in the sense that they have seeming they have way too much stamina. Um, that stuff's impossibly heavy and of course they shouldn't be able to move at all, but they, not, not only can they move, they move stupidly fast and they simply never ever ever run out of hittables. And later in the game there'll be one that you simply cannot believe has as much stamina as he does. The good thing about the fire sword and fire long sword is it's fairly quick. Um, so if we have a look at what we've just done, we've... Batty, dead. He's exposed to pulley. Now, if, before we look at the pulley, let's have a look straight ahead. If you look over there, you see a circular platform with a little little platform coming out to a dais and a hole on the side of it. And the hole drops you way down into everybody dies in the water. If you do this, there are two of these. What we can see... Is that it raises a protective level and again we have that sort of that idea of ancient technology we can see a spiral staircase heading up to stuff all right we come in through here actually we can go back and see if there's any jolly cooperation that can happen because I thought I heard some. I did hear some. If it's a ray can, of course, we won't pick it up because he doesn't want to be here. But sometimes you find... Certainly we would do that. We would drop our own soapstone um, and see if we couldn't help. Yep. Chalcedon. Perhaps that's someone who wants to actually play. Summoning failed. Okay. No, not today, Jose Not tonight, Josephine. All right, we're going to head around. Okay. Internet troubles, Chalcedon? Is that what's going on, mate? Is that the hassle? Is that what's happening? We'll see if it works. Um, it 
it's a fun area to go down. We'll take out the first boss if we can, and the first boss is going to be in there. It doesn't matter if we don't get uh, help. There's a, there's more jolly cooperation to be had down the way. Um, I'll wave in the hopes that he'll actually want to help, but it's entirely possible that he doesn't. He does. He's waved. That's a good sign. That means he's here to help. All right. I'm hoping he doesn't just start killing people. Good. Because if you attack those knights, they will, of course, fight back. And they're pretty tough at this stage, and we don't necessarily want to do that. Um, if we come through here... Is he there? There he is. We take out... Oh, you are kidding me! Okay, he's throwing a substantially high-level spell. And because he's throwing such stupidly high-level spells, we are going to go for a different boss. We're going to come down and grab... Palestine. And we're going to come down and he's going to kill that guy for us in, like, no time. Then we're going to grab this guy and we're going to go back for the dragon. Let's totally go and get the dragon. We're going to come back up here. And we are going to kill ourselves a dragon. Because I think I've got a guy with just outrageously good magic. And I'm going to make use of it. Munch a life gem. Um, in here, we have another one of these. And a Hade Knight. Chalcedon has gone up to kill himself a dragon. And the thing you do here is you run. Oh, shit. Okay, we picked up Petrified Dragon Bone and the Watch Dragon Palmer and another one of these lads. We get him down and we are going to say thank you very much. Chalcedon 451, which is like Fahrenheit 451, the famous Ray Bradbury novel, but of course cold instead of heat. So, excellent name. Pop the chest. Grab the human effigy, and we're going to come on in. And we're going to take ourselves a bad guy. This is Ornstein. Ornstein is a bastard. But he's hitting him pretty hard. Okay, seriously helpful. Seriously, amazingly helpful. Thank you very much. You get your you get your thing. I get paid. Everybody happy. And we managed to pick up um, something fun. We've got a couple of rings now. We've got the old Leo ring, the blue seal, um, and we've got a watch dragon palmer, which we probably can't use yet. Yes, we can. We'll put that on the watch dragon palmer. And we actually now have the ability to use... Um, no, we won't do anything else. Alright, so we've taken out Ornstein. That's our first boss. We picked up a soul. 
uh, come up the top here. Grab the Cleric's Palmer and the Tower Shield. Over here, they're two shields, they're two very good shields. Um, pick up the Crack Blue Eye Orb, and we'll explain what that means in a little while. We can't talk to him, that's Targe. Until we've done a little bit of jolly cooperation ourselves and do exactly what um, our mate Chalcedon did, we can't really be very helpful in this regard. So Chalcedon just did his good works by helping out a noob. Um, light the bonfire, and we're going to go back to Majula.